Making arts, like a lot of artists, is one of my earliest memories. So when I was like four or five, uh, we were living in Italy and my mom was taking a, a watercolor course. And so she was sort of passing on the techniques to me. And I remember distinctly her showing me how to uh, make clouds with washes and then how to show mountain ranges getting further into the distance and the coloration change. And it just seemed like magic. My immediate environment is integral to my art. It, it, my art wouldn't exist without it. It wouldn't look the same. Um, there's a canyon up the road from me, uh, La Plata Canyon. I spend a lot of time in there and either something will catch my eye and I'll wanna literally look at it more closely. <laughs> and if that becomes a painting, then that becomes uh, 50, 100, 150 hours of looking at this, this one object. My work is observational and it's about looking at things closely and then discovering what I find there. And the material that I usually choose is arboreal matter of one sort or another. Uh, things that are in that state of decay and transformation as far as trees goes, where, where you think something is at least ending, but it's not. And I still think at bottom, I'm still negotiating uh, our ecological relationships. Uh, the similar like wood as a, as a material and as a metaphor forever like calls to me. I'm a sucker for the ways that trees and wood transforms over time in different conditions. And so I took a bunch of pictures of this cottonwood and I thought maybe there's a piece there. Um, and so then I decided, I, uh, I looked at those photos when I got, got back to my, my studio and I really liked it. Uh, there was a lot of things that I enjoy about the cottonwood, like the way that the, the bark peels off and the way that the, all these little uh, orifices are, are revealed as it, uh, as, it, as it decays, the way the, uh, the bark peels. Um, and so it was certainly worthy of me spending a lot of time sort of painting that, that piece. And I'm not sure exactly what the, what the cottonwood is saying but it is saying something about the fact that uh, we don't live in a world of endings and beginnings. We live in this world of constants. So I feel like I'm being preached to in a way that is above my capacity for understanding, but I get little bits of it and it, it feels extremely important. This piece is Cottonwood is communicating in a long, you know, religious philosophical lines. Uh, and that that's what we should be attuned to and we should spend some time uh, looking at it.